Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this week we're going to cover the physical installation of the uh, Subaru 2.5 into the uh, 85 Vanagon. Um, it's going to cover uh, just swinging the engine into the engine bay, um, physically connecting the uh, engine to the transmission, uh, putting the cross member into the van's uh, chassis, and securing the engine. So follow along as we uh, get that installed. We've got the uh, engine on some 2x4s standing on the legs of the uh, engine hoist and kind of brought it out the same method just right underneath this fender here and um, we're about ready to swing it up and into the uh, engine bay and get it mounted to the transmission. So uh, what we're going to need to do is lower that transmission down to an angle that will uh, made up with the engine here. So as you saw, I removed the starter. Um, this little lip is preventing me from uh, threading on the nut onto the stud. So um, I'm going to be grinding this off just enough to clear uh, clear a nut. Now, if you go with a uh, like a high torque starter from KEP or from one of the other outfitters, they'll provide you. I mean, you won't have to do this. We're just reusing the 1.9 liter uh, starter, so um, you won't have to do this on uh, on an aftermarket one. But in this case, just going to grind down this little edge just a touch. Okay, so we have enough clearance now to fit our nut on and spin it around. So we're going to go ahead and get this reinstalled. Now that we have the uh, starter in, uh, the engine is successfully mated to the transmission. So next up, we need to install the cross member. Here's the KEP cross member, and what we're gonna do is bolt it to the engine mounts, one on each side, and that'll give us a reference point for mounting it to the cross member. Now, or I'm sorry, the uh, frame. Now, these bolt holes that the mustache bar lined up with uh, that'll also give us a good reference point and then we'll uh, we'll also use um, a drill to drill some holes in the uh, in the frame rail to uh, secure it a little more here is the uh, cross member mounted and we are ready to pull up the engine and get it uh, sitting flush with the frame rails. Here we have the uh, cross member bolted to the frame and um, this section here, this one in the rear and the one up front near the shock tower, that locates it and then you can drill these two middle ones and get them sucked up. Um, I'll show you quick what, uh, what I do as far as uh, drilling those holes to make make it easier on myself. I uh, just have a jack with my drill and I drill up into the frame and that makes it a lot easier because I hate getting stuff in my face when I'm drilling. <laughs> Alright, the engine is uh, completely in now. It is secured to the frame rail and uh, sits nice and flush with the deck lid and I uh, even managed to get the 
Rocky Mountain Westy oil pan on and it looks great so um, one thing that I did notice while I was getting it all set was that this motor mount you may have noticed it in an earlier clip um, this portion right here was actually on the bottom of this so it wasn't uh, allowing the engine to sit uh, at the level that it needed to and that would have just interfered and caused some problems so I just took it over to the vise and uh, got it mounted up correctly so thanks for following along on uh, the physical install of the Subaru um, engine and uh, next up we're just going to connect all the uh, components that will make it run so um, we're going to connect up the wiring harness we're going to uh, connect the intake the uh, brake booster fuel and all the other odds and ends and uh, hopefully get it started up here pretty soon so follow along and we'll see you next week